really fractured in here. Yeah. It's just as bad, I reckon, as the Saturday team's been it's purple. Split over the, right there in the middle, good. too. And I'm going to split it even further because I think it was two or three years ago, purple. When I said that the young boy Griffin from Adelaide was going to be a star of the comp and was howled down. Might have been four years ago, actually. Howled down by our men. Climb up JB's. By our men, especially by the former uh, Melbourne number three, you know, Victorian captain. But be careful, you can't have an opinion on footy. So uh, now now we're going the sooky way with me, la la. He goes, and I thought was the key big man on the ground last night. He's just getting better and better and better. Players are entitled to improve. Clearly, Adelaide shared the same opinion. And mind you, the next time we played, he dropped a mark in the first... 30 seconds, and Jim said, that's it, yeah. I'm off. You did too. You Gary, I can jump off and the and While you're on it, uh, you've guaranteed five from Jack next week? Yes. Against the Cats? Yes. All right. He's good enough. He'll do that easily. Oh, against so, Harry? Yes. Oh, will he? All right. But getting back to that, Tyrone he, he, might no, he has a chance, because Geelong play an attacking they style. They do, Spud. And that's why Ross Lyon... Whose side do you want? No, I'm on your side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to teach Warrior a little bit about yeah. tactical football and what Ross Lyon doesn't give the opposition. <laughs> Key forwards average two goals less a game when they play against Ross Lyon coach teams. Two Dog says, did Caro hit you too hard, Jim? Five against the Cats. Hey, I, I'm te- who wants to have a piece of... I can't bet on footy. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> be careful. I, I'm Red, telling you, the my Randy package you are suspended, so yes, don't pump yes. yourself up. You've just, he says, are you kidding, JB? The Cats will not Richmond off by 10. No, I'm not saying that Richmond will necessarily beat the Cats, although did. they're a you chance. Did. I think you did say Hey, that. let's give them great respect. Three years ago, the Tigers, Gaz, or two years ago, your uh, analogy, which is a good one, is the distance between their best and worst was cavernous. Yep. Now it is not. And that, no, that's where agree. Damien Hardwick's got this club to. Dimmer, welcome. Morning, guys. How are we? All right. Uh, 12 or 13 hours after or whatever it is, how are you seeing this? Because, <laughs> I, I, Dimmer, I cannot, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I, I've said on this show so many times, the great Ron Barassi said, what, 20 years ago, we need two goal umpires at each end to make sure there's never a mistake. And we're still having this debate, and it, it's cost your club uh, potentially a game of footy. Oh, listen, James, I don't know. That's probably a, it's probably a big call. And look, to be perfectly honest, um, I probably did over... Over... I'm trying to think the right word here. Overreacted to a degree. You're not going to believe the irony of what I'm doing today. I'm bloody goal umpire. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances? Don't straddle uh, that so line, Dimmer. no straddling from my point of view. Put it that way. Uh, Dimmer, we'll, we'll wait till you hang up because I've got some thoughts on it too. And, 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 if, and I don't want to you know, get you into trouble, but an official in the field of play is just not on. But anyway, just from your point of view, is the play up the other end of the ground at the moment or are you just the goal umpiring with the phone to your ear? No, no, it's quarter time at, at, oh. at the moment, so yeah, uh, all the time gets absolutely snapped. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> today. <laughs> hey, Dimmer, thanks for giving us a couple of minutes. And uh, as I say, it's going to be a big talking point, but it's got to be fixed, I reckon. Uh, good luck yeah. with everything. All right, I'm just going to practice my straddling now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've said it that many times, and it's not nothing to do with me. I'm not claiming that it's the great Ronald Dale who came up with it. But mm. if you've got... It, the thing I always say, Gaz, is you go to a full-sized AFL ground and you stand in the middle of the goals and you look how far it is to the point post one side and the other. Yeah. It is impossible for one man, even if it's Usain Bolt, to cover that whole area as a fast footy is coming into a Ford 50 mm. with the speed of AFL footy. Yeah. So how the hell we think that you're going to get them right all the time with only one person down there, I don't know. The cameras demo have never worked because we've never got them into the right position. Yep. So at least if you get two at each end, you're a chance to get 99% of them correct you and st- you'll get your positioning correct every time. You're still having the human element to it though, JP, but, aren't but you? Demo, you're still going to make a mistake. Well, why is it that NFL football, rugby league, rugby union have two on each side yeah. and you know exactly where those bloody kicks are coming but from? if you refer to NFL, they still have a video review system, which, which actually fine. has cameras in locked positions to see if it has crossed this the line. Better get back to the point. We don't have them in locked positions. Video review right. wouldn't have helped here. It didn't. This video review had no. It can, couldn't have told you anything. It would have if the cameras are in a lock position on the goalpost, which is costing you? a lot of money. It's not it gonna, looks down on the line. Yeah, I know. Tell you if the ball's over the line. But, it's gonna, but you can't if it hit the if it hit the goal umpire warrior. You can't. What are you going to say? Oh, we guess that it's going to go past him and through the goal. But if it's looking down on the action, guys, it might have actually it might have seen it was already back, over. Warrior. It's an oval ball. It does bounce. It's an unpredictable bounce. I don't think you saw it, Danny. It actually <laughs> no. crossed the line. <laughs> right. like, it wasn't a bounce back. Is that right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What are you referring to? Okay. Spud wants 15 minutes. He, he said before, a, demo, a little bit. He said, I want 15. I want, I want 15 minutes. I want Get three, on Twitter. I want three minutes too. I'm yeah. Brian Taylor.
Oh, well, there <laughs> we are. Get, get on the Herald Sun. Oh, get on, on the browser. Uh, Homeweb.com.au <laughs> now. <laughs> someone needs to be wobbled because Warrior just got me going up again. Right. Oh. I'll tell you what, Warrior. You've, you've had a mare the last month and we'll find out <laughs> later, later on why. 